So, uh, obviously, I mentioned I went down um, down to London this week. I got a question in this week from Matthew Sweeney. He says, how do you and Chris feel about Robbie and the whole Sun video, genuinely? Uh, now, I, I don't want to do too much on this because um, those of you who, who've watched the video that we've done on, on Social Club with, with Robbie, will you watch that, you'll know that the take on it all. If you haven't, I would employ you to go and do it because I don't want to... I don't want to use another platform as a stick with which to to beat someone who's ultimately mm-hmm. apologised for 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 what for what he's done and what have you. Um, but I, I just thought it was worth just worth us talking about a little bit and more, I guess, the the, the the issues that things like this present to us. Mm-hmm. And it because I found I felt really I struggled with it massively because I felt it made me feel selfish. Which is it should I don't think it should do because what it boils down to, Chris, is that I'm a hundred percent appreciative of the fact that the, the the Don't Buy the Sun campaign stems from Liverpool and it stems predominantly from from the actions post Hills, but um, and so I I can understand why people would not be as naturally bought into it as us and what have you, but it's just. I, I just hate the world that we that it, that we're in. That this this has to be a thing, and I don't mean that means call the boycott off not at all it just means that i hate the fact that organizations like the sun have put us in a world where we might not be able to work with people because of the fact that because of the whole because of the whole thing essentially yeah um it look it's annoying it is what it is um i I don't i don't really feel uncomfortable in the same way that you do about that mainly from the fact that you know i appreciate that we've been brought up with it it's kind of always been there Mm. you know we've we've turned down so many deals and 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 stuff over the years with things that are kind of associated with the sun and you know it was one of the first things we do when we set these channels up is to make sure that there's no sun advertising so it's always in the front and center of my mind um so i kind of am more maybe more accepting of it and i'm not saying that's right or wrong just that i kind of understand the situation and i feel like you know there's a reason for it and you're right it's terrible that in this day and age we are unable to work with people but for me the whole situation has kind of fired me up even more you know i feel like i want to join the fight i mean you know on a personal level you know, don't buy the sun, obviously, but I don't think I do enough to promote that. Mm. Um, and if nothing else, it's probably put a little bit of fire into my belly to make me want to go, do you know what? We've got a platform here. Mm. And there's people still in this fucking day and age that don't understand. Yeah. And that's because I'm not doing a good enough job. Yeah. And we're not doing a good enough job. And that has really awoken something in me that I want to start doing this. Yeah. No. I want to start making sure that every fucker Liverpool fan or not knows what that fucking rag did yeah and if we can use the the platform that we've got then something positive is going to come out of the back of this and, and that's kind of where i am right now yeah no it's it's i think you, you're dead right and as i say it's the thing of it's the it's the education of it that's the bit that's ultimately most most important out of this is that because i let what it, what it, what it boils down to is that you know i don't it put where, where i find it hardest is it's not. It's not for me to tell people what they can and can't do because everyone's. You know, we live in a free society. People can choose to do what they will. But it's about making sure that people understand why we take the standpoint that we do, and saying it's off the back of that. It's entirely up to you. And that's where where the, I think there was the issue. The, the, the issues that kind of came up with that thing is it maybe it came across a little bit like I was almost pressuring Robbie into the situation or, or what have you. And it was more a case of, you know, I explained to Robbie the situation on it. I think he, I think he, I think he knew, but I think, you know, it, it is a thing. People do need reminder of these things because we do forget because things are so close to us that it, as you say, it's second nature. We don't even, we wouldn't even enter into conversations with it. Whereas unfortunately, because of the way that organizations run, that are so they've created so many grey areas, and that's the way it's why it's so hard to be. It's there's no definit. It's so hard to be definitive on it. it the the only easy the easy way to be definitive is anything that associated with the sun and the sun logo and all that kind of stuff. But you've got you got the talk sport thing. You've got the is it sports team international? You know, team. Team. the fact that you know like the, the the Times is technically part of the same group. Sky is owned by the same company. All these things. It's so there's so many grey areas within this that it's very difficult for us to say definitively on stuff which is why again I I appreciate people's situation but it is more I think you're right it's more on us to 
to, yeah, exactly. And to make, as you say, exactly, make it clear why 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 we take the opinion that we take, and what's encouraging is off the back of it is how many people of other who support other teams and stuff who've got in touch, and how many people who responded to it who weren't Liverpool fans, and 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 it, the point I kind of made on the Ball Street stuff was about it's if it was just if it was just Hillsborough, and then they'd literally had a, an impeccable record of top quality journalism. <laughs> off the back of that for 27, 28 years, then you could go, well, listen, you know, even even major institutions make mistakes, but that that paper has made, literally throws one out a week, it throws one out a month of just being, of, 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 of taking the wrong side on as, on social arguments and making the idea to people and, and retracting stuff with two inch sidebars when you've, pl- you've plastered stuff full front page and that's, you know that's the, the 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 real issue with this is that whether you're down with the Hillsborough stuff or not, which you should be because it's not about Liverpool, it's about football. It's that it's not even about football, mate. It's, it's about it, fucking humans, not people. Yeah, uh, but it's but it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a terrible, terrible um, media outlet one way or the other. So I don't if people want to choose to associate themselves with that. I can only say that you know it's it's not for us and it'll never be for us. Um, but you know what? That's you know, as I say, effectively, it's down to it's down to other people. But like I say, I hate the fact that that's what it is. I hate the fact that it's still because if it didn't, if it stopped existing tomorrow, the problem would be would be gone, and we wouldn't have these grey areas as as much anymore over it. And that my problem is, is that mm-hmm. I you know I I feel for people because they throw a lot of money to try. They they they're desperate to get back in with football fans, and they're not. You know they're in with a, with 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 idiots and 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 you know and people who or, or or ultimately people who don't really look too deep into the news and what have you necessarily. But it would um it's it's I, I I I'll never I'll try I try my best not to lambast people who, who do go with it because I understand that you know this is not about Robbie in this but you know there's people at low, at low end of stuff who who need to put roofs over their heads and they need to find things and there's there's money there's there's money out there to take it. But again, it's down to us to say to them this is. It's up to you to make the decisions you want to make, but it's why we choose not to.